Hey there guys, my name is Marcos and in this video I will guide you how you can easily use project management in Bitrix24. So when you're going to enter a Bitrix24 account, you want to click here tasks and projects. <clears throat> when you're going to be here, you're going to find the tasks, the projects, the scrum efficiency. So the first thing that we're going to do is when you're going to enter here, you want to click on a project. First, we're going to create a project and then we're going to add tasks to it. So I will click here, create a project. And let's say the project uh, use all the available tools to manage the project, Kanban, task list, Gantt chart, deadlines, calendar, or you can have work group, discuss and exchange ideas, plan, join meetings and calls, store documents in the work group drive. So I'll go with the project here. I will click next here. Now project name is going to be, let's say, YouTube business channel. And then we're going to add icon. Then I'm going to click next. A privacy level. So we're going to choose if it's going to be public, private or secret. Nobody can view this theme in the list uh, or private access is by invitation or just public. You choose that and then press next here. Then you're going to simply add a team members. And you can simply add employees here. And when you're going to have it, you're going to click next again. And then you got it right here. So in the moment, you can have like multiple projects here. When you're going to click on the project, what we're going to have here. So in our project, we can simply create a task. So in project, we can have tasks. Then we can have like feed here, calendar of your tasks and everything. And then also you're going to have the conversation chat here with other people in your team and all of that you would have in your project. So when I'm going to click here on the tasks here and I'm going to, let's say, add a task. So let's say we're going to have a task, which is going to get called YouTube video, YouTube marketing video. What you can do is go on the top right and have it as a high priority then you can easily add a description of it. So in this video, we will focus on marketing of YouTube channel. And then you're going to have the responsible person and also a deadline. So let's say it's going to be 23 of September and this task status summary. Then you're going to file here, new document, mention, quote, checklist, add to checklist. So all of that you can add here. So I can simply add a checklist here. So item can be YouTube thumbnail. Then I can have a YouTube description of the video. And I can have observer participant. And then we got it. So right now, let's say this is a checklist that we created just now. And then you can go simply to more here. So what we can actually find here. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you're going to click more, you're going to have a project, then uh, time tracking, let's say five, eight hours, repeat task. You can add a reminder about the task. If you have CRM, you can simply add it here. If you have Gantt, you can add it here, add a field or dependent tasks. So if you're going to have multiple tasks here, you can easily add it, right? So on what it's going to be dependent upon. Now, when we're going to go further, uh, I'm going to click add a task here when you're finished. It. Now we have the, our first task right here. So the name, deadline, all the basic stuff you have right here. And what you can do, you can simply switch between lists to Kanban view. And you have simply at uh, the stage view, if it's going to be default YouTube channel, and then click select. And then what you can do is you can simply move between the stages. So if it's going to be in progress or finished. And you can always find like you can edit all the things here. You can simply add here. So let's say stopped and I can move it here under stopped here. So that's pretty much what you can do. And then you can index to the Kanban, you can have deadline. So deadline again, overview, due today, due this week, uh, due next week, 
no delayed wine and you can easily also operate in the deadline field here and then you can have planner so in the planner uh, you can always again we have another progress bar here so we can be to, be to be done this week not planned or next week and then we can have the calendar here so in the calendar you can always gonna find the task and you can always click on whatever day and you can simply add a task right there so I can click here and add a task so that's what you can do and then that's how you operate with calendar where you can switch between a days here uh, you can simply switch between the weeks or a month so that's all what you can do and next to the calendar you're gonna have also the Gantt chart in the Gantt chart you're gonna find the tasks and you can always let's say I'm going to show you how you can create dependencies so when you have when you're gonna be in the list here and let's say I'm going to add a new task really simply okay add a task I go into Gantt and as you can see we have two look at this what did I do right now easy simple as that we have our own dependency created and you can always delete it so it's going to be dependent one to another uh, circulings are not allowed so that's how you can do it right how we can connect it with so this is pretty much it how we can do it and how we can use it as I mentioned you're gonna have like tasks ongoing here assisting or sent by you and then you're gonna have like which other you are following right now and then you're gonna have also the feed here uh, like what was happening here and the line changed and then as I mentioned the calendar where you would have all the things that needs to be done and also like more here and you can have chat conversation market knowledge base so this is pretty much it how you can do it and this is how you can simply use your bitrix 24 project management now if you can have any questions guys let me down below in the comments i'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support now this was pretty much it is nothing that difficult to like use and understand and that's pretty much it so hope i gave you a little bit of value on how we can understand it and you can understand it better comparing to before and that's it so thank you have a great day and goodbye see ya